Adopted boy sees dogs about to attack his little siblings, shields them with his own body. When a young boy saw that his younger siblings' lives were in jeopardy, he didn't hesitate to jump into action. Not once thinking about his own life, he selflessly stepped up in the face of danger, proving that heroes come in all shapes and sizes. On May 17, 2021, Elizabeth and Peter Ashmore's family experienced an unlikely incident outside their home in the 4,000 block of Taylor Street on Detroit's west side. It changed their lives completely, strengthening their familial connection. That Monday afternoon, 12-year-old Deacon Ashmore was playing outside with his siblings, two younger sisters, aged 9 and 7. His five-year-old baby brother and a neighbor's kid, when two dogs suddenly came out of nowhere, interrupting the children's playtime. Seeing his siblings and the other kids scream out of fear, Deacon knew he couldn't stand by and do nothing. Thereafter, he sprang into action, jumping in front of the starling dogs, until all the children had managed to run home safely and were out of harm's way. Even his little sister and brother were grateful for their protective older brother. However, while doing so, Elizabeth said her son ended up being attacked. One of the pit bulls reportedly bit Deacon's left calf, leaving him seriously injured. In fact, his injuries were so severe that he had to undergo surgery in Detroit's Children's Hospital of Michigan. Deacon's dad, Peter, stayed beside him the whole time. The young boy was expected to fully recover, but his character was the one element that shined through before and after the mauling. His father recalled, Deacon was just asking, hey daddy, is Kingston okay? Did Hensley and Coco make it back to the house okay? Is mommy okay? Here he is with a serious injury and all he can do is think about other people. That just speaks volumes about the kind of young man he's becoming. Deacon, a talented artist who was adopted by the Ashmores as a baby from Ethiopia, had to use crutches to move around after his leg injuries healed, an order that could have dulled anyone's spirits, but it didn't shake Deacon. While he recovered at home, the young boy received best wishes from his sixth grade teacher and classmates in the form of a huge card. Even his little sister and brother were grateful for their protective older brother. Deacon expressed, I'm pretty glad that I was the one who was attacked, because if it was them, they could have been more injured than me. Elizabeth was proud of her older son's bravery and selflessness and wasn't surprised that he would put his own life on the line to save his siblings. But after doing something truly heroic and setting an excellent example for everyone, Deacon refused to take any credit. Elizabeth told people, that's just the kind of kid he is. Since day one, he'll do anything and everything for his siblings. He loves them fiercely. While Elizabeth was concerned for her son's recovery, she couldn't stop singing praises for her sweet Deacon. He's just got the best heart. He's the best kid, added the proud mother. Even after everything that happened, the Ashmores shared that their son was only concerned for his siblings. Peter stated, He continuously puts other people in front of himself, and that's what I love and respect about him. It's something so many people can learn from. To help the Ashmores bear the medical cost of Deacon's recovery, including physical therapy, a member of their church created a crowdfunding page requesting people for donations. As of November 10, 2022, over $39,900 has been raised, surpassing the $30,000 goal. Cleet Bontrager wrote on the page, Deacon stepped between the two dogs and his siblings so they could run to the house, but in doing so, his leg was badly mangled. Deacon, who had acted not just instinctively but out of love and concern for his baby sisters and brother, doesn't consider himself a hero. He thinks anybody would have done that, explained his mother, Elizabeth. The Online Reaction In reality, the youngster became a real-life superhero for saving his siblings' lives. When Deacon's story was shared online, it garnered praise and appreciation from netizens far and wide. Prayers for a speedy recovery. You're a true hero, said Cynthia Stewart. God bless him, not all siblings would have the courage to do that, Lynette McGrath said. God bless this brave young man, Frank Hannon added. Thank you, Deacon, for restoring our faith in humanity. Your younger siblings are fortunate to have a thoughtful and caring brother like you.